I got four displays on my desk right now because of this USB-C docking station. So this is the 2B number one USB-C docking station. And one of the things I'm gonna do this year is look at just really cool new technology that I wanna use personally myself. So it's like essential tech for me. And then I'm also gonna look at some cool stuff that I think would be good for you guys out there in the community. So I'm gonna clear out the desk in just a second. But first off, I wanna talk about the external monitors that you can hook up to this USB-C docking station because that's one of the main reasons to get something like this, just to extend your laptop, your MacBook, or even your desktop, extend its ability to have multiple displays. So this one is running at 1080p. This one's running at 1440p, 60 hertz. And then this one over here is running at 1080p. They're all running at 60 hertz. So it says that it'll support three monitors at 1080p. And this one I got to run at 1440p with these two on the sides running at 1080p. This is running on HDMI. This is running on HDMI. And the one in the center is running on mini display port. So those are your three options. And you'll see a 4K HDMI and a 2K HDMI on the back. So does that mean this thing will support 4K over the USB-C? Yes, but if you're going to use 4K, that's it. You can do one 4K monitor at 30 hertz. And then if you wanted to do two or three monitors, you'll have to bring it down to what they say, 2K or 1080p or 1440p for one monitor than in 1080p for the other. So that'll be the limitations there. Oh, one other thing. If you are worried about VGA support for the old legacy stuff and also projectors and stuff if you're giving presentations, they have included an HDMI to VGA adapter in the box. Another really cool thing. Now to be number one, they make um, some products that are probably better for your laptop that have a small USB-C dongle. Now, this one can work both for your laptop and for your desktop because of the footprint. It's got a little bit of weight, nice little feet on the bottom. And we also have this stand that you can place your 2B number one USB-C dock in. And um, so what I'm gonna call the front here because it has the, uh, the port for the USB-C that goes to the PC. So here on the front, We've got USB-C, uh, and that's a powered port on top for things like phones and tablets and everything else. That's a combo headphone and microphone jack. Beneath that, we have TF card and SD card, or micro SD card for the small port. Below that, we have the port that goes to your PC, USB Type-C, and then two USB 3.0 ports below that. We have mini display port. We have 4K and 2K HDMI below that. RJ45, and that's gonna be for hooking up a wired ethernet connection. Then we have three more USB ports five in total. The RJ45 port, that's going to give you gigabit all the way a thousand megabits a second, or it'll do 100 megabits per second, just depending on whatever you plug it into. Uh, it'll automatically detect and be like, oh, that's what you are. Now, when we have our HDMI and our display port on the back, um, if you plug this into your laptop or your desktop and stuff doesn't show up and you're like, what's going on? Why don't I see these monitors? They're not in my display properties. I can't find them. Well, all you need to do is simply uh, install something called Display Link. It is a little driver package from Microsoft. If you just type Display Link into your favorite search engine, it's going to be the first thing that comes up. Make sure you're on the Microsoft website. Install that, and then you will have Display Link on your PC for Windows. Uh, with Mac, it's going to be a little different. It should just work, uh, uh, you know, as long as you have Thunderbolt 3. This is going to be gone out of my system. I don't need it anymore. This is a TF and SD card reader. So I've got it right here now. I'm going to probably lay it down like this on my desk and then i'm going to use one of the monitor ports the mini display port to power a third monitor just so i don't have to run the cable that long so that'll that'll work for now until i uh, do something different with my graphics card but hey really easy to do that and then i'm actually going to hook up uh, a few just game controllers and that sort of thing like an xbox controller and a ps4 controller and maybe even some old like retro uh, adapters for GameCube controllers and that sort of thing. So I'll have all that going on my desk. Above and beyond that, I'll have a USB-C port just when I want to charge stuff like my phone or whatever I want to plug in and charge um, phones, tablets, whatever. I'll use one of the USB ports and I can use one of the USB ports to also charge up my uh, ebook reader. Above and beyond that, it's going to be nice to have this on the desk just to plug in anything I need. If I want to plug up a different mouse and try it out, uh, plug up a webcam, just stuff that I want to like easily have access to. This is going to be right up on my desk so that I can always just plug in whatever I need to test out. So that's going to be super handy for that. The headphone microphone combo port is going to be really handy because right now the best port that I have for my microphone is on the back of the PC. But the microphone here actually sounds very good and it uses its own internal stuff. So like when you plug this in and you go to your device properties and your sound properties, whatever, it'll just say like USB audio device. So use that one. And I'm actually going to plug up my external microphone right here my uh, i've got a mod mic just plug it up right here to this so that it's on my desk 
I don't have to plug it in behind my motherboard where the best port is. So this is going to help a lot. With our five USB 3.0 ports, you're going to have five gigabits per second of bandwidth just to work with right there. So that's a lot of transfer speed, plug up your different hard drives and that sort of thing and just be happy. It'd be great for when I'm, you know, coming home with an external drive. Just wanna plug it in right there on top of my desk. And it's, you know, I know I'm going to get like really fast speeds and I don't need to plug it into the, you know, the computer in the floor. So that's going to be nice and easy. And then when it comes to your SD card and your micro SD card, you're going to get up to 300 megabytes a second of transfer speed there. So that's super fast. Uh, but just know that if you're plugging them both in at the same time, they're not going to run at that full speed. It's going to prioritize one over the other. So, you know, don't expect 300 parts, 300 total in the you know, the first one is that you're transferring is going to be the priority. So the dimensions of this item, uh, 7.5 inches by 3.4 inches by 0.8 inches thick. And it does have a little bit of weight at 1.3 pounds. That's probably about 0.7 or 0.8 kilograms for everybody else in the world. But that's just off the top of my head. So you guys can correct me, but 1.43 pounds. And then also with the rubber feet, it's not easy to slide around on your desk. And if you have several things plugged into it, including like controllers and stuff, it's not just gonna fall off the desk or slide around. It's it's substantial, you know, it, this thing on the rubber feet is not going anywhere unless you like push it somewhere yourself. So this may be really good for someone who like has made their primary computer a, a laptop or something like, you know, you've got a computer like this, you've got a, a Lenovo Legion gaming laptop or something in, and you use this all the time. It's your main PC cause it's fast and you come home and you want some extra monitors and you want some stuff you want like you've got your your mouse and your keyboard and everything all set up all you do is just come home plug up the USB-C to this and you're done it's essentially exactly what it is it's a docking station so you can you know you can take it with you or you can just leave it somewhere and have your setup boom three extra monitors four displays in total if you want just have it ready to go so that's one uh, cool way to use it i'm going to use it with my main rig and maybe get another one to throw in the backpack but they also have the the different one with the usb-c dongle so i might get that one to throw into the backpack to use on the go but a docking station is just one of the handiest things that you guys can get and i'm curious to know how you would use it so let me know uh, in the comments below how would you guys use the 2B number one docking station? Also, let me know what you guys think of the uh, idea of just doing like videos on super handy tech gear that I use myself and think may be good for, for you guys out there. Last but not least, head over to epicpants.com and get yourself a t-shirt, a mouse, a keyboard, mouse pad, whatever. See you guys in the comments.